Right then, you are a up. This week on Burnt Warfare's Oft, it's time to talk tactics. Now, I'm not one for over-the-top plans. Plans are silly. And no plan survives contact with the enemy, you know. However, that still doesn't mean you should play the same way for every game. And in the following video, I hope to give you a few ways to tweak your playstyle for different game modes. First and foremost, medic games. At any site where the medic rule is in play, but players have to stay still whilst waiting for respawn, I found it pays to do one of two things. Either use the waiting player as bait and hope a few of his mates show up and take them out too, or if you can, to move up to or past the opposite player's position, essentially cutting him off from his team and forcing a respawn. However, if everyone's a medic, players can walk back to their own lines for a respawn, then treat the front line a bit more cautiously. You're going to have to gain ground a bit more slowly by pushing the whole team back. But you'll still need to push up to gain ground and take advantage of holes created by eliminated players. Otherwise, the game will become a stalemate. No one wants a stalemate now, do they? Another game mode that benefits from a change of tactic is the unlimited respawn versus the limited respawn. You'll often encounter this game mode ran as some kind of defend the objective, with the defenders having limited lives. As an attacker, use those unlimited lives to really grind down the defenders' numbers. As long as the walk back to respawn isn't too great, the more you die, the faster you'll win. Dead players don't talk, but they certainly remember. Now, as a defender, you're going to need to delay the opposite team as much as you can. Seek the best cover you can with small, limited arcs of fire. If you have a few lives, try to use each life to fall back close to the objective. It really pays to work well with your team and cover each other's asses in a game mode like this. But at most airsoft games, you're going to have two fixed respawn sites. Always remember in games like this, the more of the opposite team walking back to respawn, the more dominance over the map your team will have. So it pays to make sure your attack is as devastating as possible and to take gain of any advantage you get and to get back to the respawn and back into the game as fast as you can. Whatever game mode you're playing, always remember the flank. And if things look too well defended, fall back and double back on yourself. This will often draw the opposite team in and leave them open to a counter strike as they set up in new ground. One final note, in all the years I've played sports like Airsoft, I've noticed there is one thing that seems to keep cropping up. And that's the fine balance between being very sneaky and very aggressive and knowing when to switch between the two, something I have yet to master myself. But it's some food for thought for you on your next game. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, and I gave you some ideas to try out on your next game. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. Anyway, back to whatever you were doing. At ease.